Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically number your rows in Excel. As always, there's a few ways of doing this and you'll be able to pick the most suitable one depending on your data. I'm just going to cover three of them in this video that will probably cover most of the scenarios that you need. We're going to look at the fill handle, the row function and using a table. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Now let's get on with the tutorial. First thing we're going to look at is the fill handle. This is a really handy bit of functionality within Excel, which I use all the time. All we need to do is decide on the sequence we want to number our rows in. For example, if we just want to increment by one for each row, we start typing one and then two. So we've set a sequence there by saying each row is going to increment by one. Then we need to select those two numbers. Once we've selected these cells, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little green square and that's the fill handle. And all we need to do is hover our mouse over that until we get a black cross. And then we can either click and drag and you'll see that we get a preview to the right of what it's going to put in each row. Or we can simply double click and it will fill it in for every row that we've got in our table. The fill handle is also quite flexible because although I set the sequence to 1, 2, you can do whatever you like. We could say 5, 10. Again, select those two cells. And then as we drag down, you can see it's going up in increments of five. The downside of using this method is that when we insert a row into our data, the row number is not updated, and that's not going to work for us if we want to keep every single row numbered. Another useful thing about using the fill handle is you can use it on things that aren't just numbers. So for example, if we had order numbers that were prefixed with ORD hyphen 001, I can just use the fill handle to fill that down and you'll see that's just automatically incremented those. Next method we're going to look at is using the row function and what that does is it allows us to reference the actual row number in Excel as our basis for counting. So for example if we go equals row open our brackets and then use cell A1 because cell A1 is in row 1 we get the result of 1. And again, we can drag that down using the fill handle, or we can double click. And you'll see that in each row, that's updated the row formula to reference the row above. So we're getting the 10 here, even though we're on the 11th row. Again, if we insert a row in this data, we slightly break our sequence here. So you just need to be mindful that as with using the fill handle, if you're going to insert rows, this isn't going to automatically update them. Probably the most robust way of making sure that you can number your rows and keep them up to date when you're adding or inserting rows is to put your data in a table. To do this, we can just click anywhere on our data and then press Ctrl and T and we get this create table pop up. So you'll see that's automatically selected the area that our data is in and that's outlined by this dashed line. And it's also picked up on the fact that our table has headers so we can leave that box ticked. We click OK. Excel has now put our data in a table. Now tables are really useful for loads of things. I've done a whole video on reasons to use tables, so please check that out. I've put a link in the description. Now when it comes to numbering your rows, what we can do in here is we can reference our header of the table as our first row and then calculate our row numbers from that. So the formula for doing this is using the row formula and we're not going to pass it any parameters at the moment. And then we're going to subtract from that the row reference of the header of our table. And to do that, we type our table name. And you can see I get a little prompt saying it's table three. And again, up here, you can see that that's what Excel's automatically named this table. You can, of course, rename your tables. Again, you can find more about that in my video on using tables. Now we're just going to double click on table three. And then we're going to use square brackets and we're going to reference the headers. So we just click on hashtag headers from this drop down that comes up. Double click on that, close our square brackets and close our brackets. And you'll see that's automatically filled that down our table. So we didn't even have to copy that down. And now when I insert a row, you see that's automatically numbered it. And equally, if I add a new row to the bottom of our table, You'll see that's automatically been numbered as well. I hope you found this video on automatically numbering your rows in Excel useful. 
Please like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips.